Hello, I'm Dr. Leanne Taylor Smith, and I'm going to show you how to use the stereo or dissecting microscopes in the teaching lab. So, first, we start by getting them out of the cupboards. Now, these stereo microscopes have got a nice handle just at the top of them, so just pop your fingers under there and gently pull it out of the cupboard. We then want to position it on the bench in a place where you can sit and work at the microscope. You can take the cover off, take the cable off, plug in the microscope. If we need to reposition it, we just lift and reposition. Again, don't drag the microscopes across the bench top. So, I'll just go through some basic features of this microscope. Again, starting at the top, we have some eyepieces. Again, these are adjustable to make them more comfortable for you to look through them. You should look through them and adjust them until you can see just one single field of view. We then have the magnification knobs here. And these range from an eight times to 35 times magnification. Here at the back is where we can change the focal plane and we can move the, the whole microscope up and down to change our focal plane. On the front here is where we can adjust our light levels. So at the moment we have the top lights on and we can change how many of the lights, the LED lights we have in at the top on and we can also have under lighting as well and change the levels of that. For what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to use the top lighting because I'm not looking at a transparent specimen, I'm looking at a very opaque and 3D specimen. And today we're going to look at penicillium claviform. And this is a wonderful fungus with fantastic 3D morphology, which is a really good example of how to use this particular microscope. So, I'll just bring a chair into position. Now, for this particular specimen, it's not dangerous, it's not pathogenic, so I'm quite happy, and it's not forming spores at the moment, so I'm happy to take the lid off so that I can see the structures. I'm going to place it in the centre here. I'm going to start at low magnification, same principles, start at low magnifications and work our way up. I'll then look down the eyepieces and find the focal plane that I want at this magnification. Now that I'm happy with that, I can then move up in magnification and change the focus as I go. Doing this, I'm able to focus at the very base of the morphology of the fungus all the way up to the very tips. And this is a very good microscope for looking at large macro structures. Once I'm finished using this microscope, the same as the previous microscopes, we want to switch the lights off and um, put it in back into the cupboard. So we just turn our lights off. Removing our specimen and replacing the cover back on. We can unplug. And using the handle again, carefully lift the microscope and replace the microscope into the cupboard. And that's how we use the stereo microscopes in the teaching labs.